But it's Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video we'll be taking a look at the new latest and greatest from MSI. This is the MSI Clutch GM51 Lightweight. And yeah, it really is. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we're taking a look at the MSI Clutch GM51 Lightweight. This is a new 8K sensor from MSI. This mouse is basically a little bit like cheating. It's extremely precise, has a DPI of up to 26,000. Also has a 650 inch per second tracking and comes in at somewhere around about the 75 gram mark. So if you are into your slightly lightweight mice, and you like the look of this, this is gonna be one of those things where depending on your grip style and also your hand size, you may or may not find this ultimately comfortable. For me personally, as a left-handed person, this is predominantly set up for right-handed people, but it does work very well for left-handed and I've been using it for the last week or so and find it to be extremely accurate, extremely precise, and well, I love the coloring as well. So this has got a few very cool features, so let's have a quick run through those of which most of it is actually on the box itself. So as you can see, this is the Clutch GM51 lightweight mouse. This is the wired version. There will be a wireless version coming out of this very shortly. So do stay tuned for that one when it comes out. Hopefully they'll send one over for review purposes. But for some people, you prefer the, uh, the kind of not having the battery anxiety. So having a wired version may be preferable. This is decked out with the latest and greatest Pixart PAW3395 sensor, which has a up to 8,000 hertz polling rate, which essentially means that it's kind of, it's gonna track much quicker. And for every movement of the mouse, it's polling it so much quicker. So rather than being your usual 500 or 1,000 hertz, it's basically eight times as fast in terms of how many times it sends information to your computer to track your movement, which in theory should make you for a smoother experience, which yeah, it definitely, definitely does. More of the features we've got on the back of the box. So this is the MSI Diamond Light Grip. And as you can see from the mouse itself, on both sides, you've got this really impressive addressable RGB lighting, which serves two purposes. It is a diamond shape. So when you're actually gripping it, it is very grippy. And even in the sweatiest of moments, it shouldn't go flying out of your hands. And also when you're using it, it's got a very nice glow to it. And there are three sections of the lighting. So we've got it on both sides and also on the back as well. All three are individually controllable in the MSI center. So if you want to have a specific type of lighting, then you certainly can do. Also on the back of the box, it says about the instantaneous response times. So it's got a high speed processor inside, which allows for up to 8,000 Hertz polling rate transmission. And this effectively results in reducing your delay from one millisecond, which is typical from 1,000 Hertz mice down to basically an eighth of a millisecond, which is uh, yeah, extremely fast. So let's take a closer look at the mouse itself. So as you can see, in terms of design-wise, there is a little bit of a slight bias towards right-handers, but even if you are left-handed, it is very comfortable. There is a very pronounced hump to the top of the mouse, which gives a lot of support, especially for me personally when I'm using it. So I use a kind of a custom grip being a left-hander and also use the side buttons with my ring finger, which actually works very well in this regard. I found that the actual mouse wheel is in a particularly nice position. It's slightly raised and has a very definite dip for every click or roll of the mouse, which is very nice. And also in terms of the clickness, we've got Omron switches in here, which are rated up to 60 million clicks. Obviously we uh, won't be testing those, but it should ensure a pretty decent lifetime. If you're clicking pretty much 24 seven, this should last you a good five years at least. Although it does come with a two year limited warranty as well. So should you have any problems, obviously you can get it replaced. Not that you should have to. When it comes to the actual clickiness of it, let's listen to what these switches are actually like. And the side buttons. The side buttons actually are really nice and firm. They're not wiggly or wobbly or anything like that. So when you're trying to press them really quickly in either an instance where you're trying to reload your weapon or switch weapon or whatever you set them to, they are very accurate and very responsive. And also when it comes to the base, you've got some really nice PTFE glide pads on there, which have actually been tapered on the edges as well, just to give a little bit of extra smoothness. And on pretty much any surface, these work absolutely great on a mouse mat. It's fantastic on even just a rough desk like this, it tracks extremely well and it's very, very smooth indeed. It literally glides across the desk. In the center, you can see we've got that PAW3395 
3395 sensor, which originally was actually a uh, specific kind of license thing, which was for Razer mice, but now their licensing has expired, so other companies are free to make mice based on that technology, and it does a particularly good job. There is something built into this called motion sync technology, so basically this syncs the sensor's readings with the polling rate for a effectively more consistent and smoother experience, and of which in gaming it definitely does that. It's very smooth, very accurate, and even the smallest of movements are tracked effortlessly. Although the mouse itself only has the five buttons, so left, right, your two side buttons, and the middle mouse button, you've also got a button on the bottom. This isn't programmable, this is purely for switching your DPI settings, so you can configure five DPI settings in the MSI Center, or go with the defaults, which range between a kind of relatively low 100 to around about 6400. Obviously, if that isn't quite enough for you, you can change that in MSI Center very easily. Other things of note is it comes with MSI's pretty much now standard friction-free cabling. So this is a braided cable, which basically glides along your desk. It's done very smoothly. So if it is on any surface, it just moves around very easily. You've got a USB connection on the end there, which is pretty much standard these days. You will find if you use it on a USB 3.0 connection, sometimes you don't get the 8000 Hertz response time. For some reason on my system, I didn't anyway, but if you plug it into a USB 2 port, it's absolutely fine. This may be something to do with this being a early release. Obviously there will be firmware updates and driver updates from MSI Center as time goes by, and especially after release date. When it comes to the actual size of the mouse, so we're looking at 122 millimeters in length, looking at 65 millimeters in width, and 45 millimeters in height at the highest section. Also, the cable itself has a cable strap on there, so if you want to use that for cable management, you can do. I generally find those a little bit of a pain in the backside, so potentially I'd remove that or put it really close up to the USB port so it doesn't kind of scag or scratch anything. Would have been nicer to see some sort of Velcro on there so you can remove it if you don't like it, but I guess it does its job when it needs to. And now again, with the mouse plugged in, you can see the lighting shining through. I think they've done a fantastic job with this. I, myself, am personally very much an RGB fan. Of course, if you want to, you can in the MSI software, in Mystic Light, you can turn the lighting off. And as I said earlier, there are three individually programmable sections. Something which is nice as well, when you press the DPI button, you have the color-coded messages. So it will light up in the various colors, which are kind of color-coded to your specific settings. So you know which one you're using whenever you press the button. I think the lighting's been done really nicely. The actual shape and the feel of the mouse is very good, it's very solid. There is no creaking, it's extremely solidly built. And I find that the satin matte black finish on the top, I thought it was gonna be an absolute nightmare for uh, things like fingerprints and greasy marks, especially if you're sat at your PC gaming and eating snacks as we generally tend to do. But even with that, it looks absolutely like brand new. And again, I've been using this for basically the best part of two weeks or so. And it essentially looks like it's just come out of the factory. And even the glide pads don't appear to have picked up any dirt or grease. I haven't wiped them over prior to actually starting this review and I have been using it for a while. And we have got things like cats and other stuff going on, dust, etc. normally does accumulate, but it's actually done a very good job of that and stays pretty clean and I think it actually looks fantastic. So overall, for a mouse with a 2600 DPI, really fast polling rate, 650 IPS tracking, which means you can really fling this thing around and it will record every single movement. And I think basically when it comes down to it, it's gonna come down to pricing. So hopefully MSI will come out with a uh, pretty decent launch price on this. I'm expecting it to be somewhere in the region of about 50 pounds. We haven't had confirmation yet, the actual, video that you're watching now will be released on launch day, so it'll be interesting to see what the prices are here in the UK. There will be links in the video description, so do check those out. If it says TBC, it means we're waiting for them to be launched, and um, obviously when they do get launched, we'll update the prices accordingly. Overall, I think this is a fantastic mouse. I've been using pretty much most of the MSI mice over the last few years. Currently on my desk, I use the GM41, which is its kind of like little brother, and on my streaming PC, I've got the older GM50, which again has been a fantastic mouse and has lasted for absolutely ages, even though I've dropped it many, many times, as some of you who watch our streams will probably know. But overall, yeah, I think this is a great mouse. I really want one. Unfortunately, I've got to send this one back because this is a review sample, but hopefully when they come out, if it's a decent price, I'll be definitely in the queue to buy one. So there you go, that has been the MSI Clutch GM51 Lightweight Mouse. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.